hi besties welcome back to the channel it's your favorite girl mono in today's video i will show you how i made this beautiful bridal hand fan you can make this for yourself and you can make it to resell this hand fan is beautiful it is unique and you can customize it with your name if you're interested in seeing how i achieved this please keep watching here are some of the materials that you need to achieve this design you will need your hand fan skeleton for this tutorial i am using this local hand fan okay and then you will need your fabric i am using ashoke for this one you can use velvet or you can use any other fabric that you want to use okay so you will need some glue you can use your hot glue or you can use your uhu glue you will need your name tag you will need trimmings different types of trimmings to embellish your hand fan okay for the next stage you need to determine the measurements for the fabric that you want to use i do not have a specific measurement for this what i did for mine was to place the hand fan on the fabric that i'm using and then i cut out enough to cover the hand fan okay so because i am using ashoke for mine you know that ashoke comes in strips and one strip is not wide enough to cover the hand fan i had to cut out two pieces for each side i am going to take that to my sewing machine i will join them together so that it becomes one piece i'll do that for both of them and then i'll come back to show you if you are using your velvet just place your hand fan on the velvet trace it around leave some allowance okay for folding and then cut it out this is what the ashoke looks like after joining i am going to press that part where i joined i'm going to press it flat so that it becomes completely flat you know when i use it to cover my hand fan i don't want any bulkiness anywhere so you can use your gum to help it lay completely flat all right so i'm using my hand to just press it over and over to open it up and then flatten it out i'm I'm still going to go ahead and place some glue there to make sure that it stays flat. The next thing I'm going to do is to lay the fabric on top of the hand fan and then use my glue to hold it down. Okay, so you can use your UH you gum all over the hand fan before placing your fabric so that it holds it perfectly in place but i don't want you know to have stains on this ashoke so i'm using the glue only at the edges of the hand fan i'll repeat the same thing on both sides and make sure that it is neatly done after that i'm going to take my scissors and trim out the excess fabric okay on one side i'm going to trim the fabric to the exact measurement of the hand fan while on the other side i will leave some allowance while trimming it The next thing I'm going to do is to notch around the allowance that I left. This will help me when I am folding over. The reason I'm doing this is I don't want the hand fan to be picking out anywhere. So I want when people look at it, they are going to see the fabric. I don't want them to know what's inside, right? So when I notch, I'm going to use my glue to now fold that over the hand fan. So when you look at the edges, it is only fabric you'll be seeing. There won't be any sight or trace of the hand fan anywhere i hope you understand what i'm explaining after covering the body of the hand fan the next thing to do is to cover the handle so i'm going to use this trimming that you see me holding to wrap around that handle it will serve as an embellishment and also serve as a covering for the hand of the hand fan Show 
this is what it looks like after i'm done the next thing is i am going to take my fringes i'm using fringes for this as well i'm going to glue it around the edge of the hand fan i was supposed to use the short fringes for this but i couldn't lay my hand on that before making this video so i had to make do with the one i had and then i am going to trim it to the length that i want after i am done with it Go ahead and repeat the same thing on the second side before we move on to the next stage if you made it to this point and you are not yet subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing so that you can become a part of the family when you subscribe please turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know whenever i upload a new video right now i am using the gold trimmings that you see to embellish the hand fan this will add more beauty to the hand fan and then also to cover the edge of the fringes that i used i will do that for both sides before going ahead to finish up with my embellishment and every other thing that i need to do on this thank you so much for watching this video if you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up don't forget to leave me a comment if you have questions leave it in the comment section and i'll be delighted to answer your questions if you have a request that you want me to do if you have a specific video that you want me to post on here kindly send it to me on instagram my instagram handle is on the screen it's also in the description area so you can just click on it and connect with me on instagram if you would like to shop any of the designs that you see me display here the link to my website is also in the description area okay Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. Mark chapter 8 verse 36 says, What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and lose his own soul? Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. He is interested in everything you do and your overall success. Give him a chance today. At this point, I am just arranging my name tag the way I want it to look before I go on to use my glue to stick them down. After this, I'm going to go in with any other embellishment that I would love to add, whether it is applique, trimmings, or whatever. Just decide on what you want to add to your hand fan, okay? Be creative with it. After all, it's a brighter hand fan, and you can make it as flamboyant as you want, or you can make it as minimal as you want. There's really nobody stopping you from making it your own, all right? So, there is another way that you can add your name to the hand fan which is the beading method in another video i will show you how you can bead your name onto a bridal hand fan but for this i am using an already made name tag all right i also went ahead to trim the fringes to the exact size that i want it to be and this is a finished look i hope you like this hand fan i hope you enjoy this tutorial if you found it helpful don't forget to like comment and share this video with whoever needs it all right until i come your way next time stay safe and stay blessed